Okay, on this problem we're going to use the shell method to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by the line y equals x plus 2 and the line y equals x squared about the line y equals 4. Okay, so since we're revolving around the line y equals 4, uh, which is this line, y equals 4, okay, we are going to have to solve our equations for x, okay, because this is going to be a integral with respect to y. Okay, so I solved both of these equations for x. This one's pretty easy. Move the 2 over, you get x equals y minus 2. This one takes square root plus or minus, so you get two different equations. I went ahead and graphed these equations, so you get x equals negative square root of y, that's the left side of this parabola, and x equals positive square root of y, that's the positive side, the right side of this parabola. And here's the line, x equals y minus 2, or y equals x plus 2. That's this graph here. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is find your intersection points. It's, uh, it's easier to solve uh, using the x equation, so I set them equal to one another. x squared equals x plus 2. Solve this down here by factoring. x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. Um, plug into either one of these, and you get your answer. Plug a 2 in here, 2 plus 2 is 4. And plug a negative 1 in here, uh, negative 1 and 2 make 1. Okay, so you get your intersection points here. This is negative 1, 1. And this one up here is 2, 2. Okay, that takes care of uh, the things that um, aren't calculus-based. Okay, so we're going to use a shell method. So the first thing we need to think about is what does our shell look like? Uh, so draw a shell here. Okay. So this is our shell. Okay, and your shell method uh, is this formula, uh, 2 pi from whatever a to b is, whatever your limits are. Um, of your shell radius times your shell height and in this case it's dy because we're revolving around a, a line y equals um, 4 okay so shell radius and shell height so your shell radius you think about this shell revolving around this line Okay, so what's the distance? This this is a circle, so basically you're asking what's the distance between here and here? Well, if we know this is the line y equals 4, how far is it to this arbitrary shell that we drew? Okay, well we'll just say that that's some, that's some y value. We don't know what it is because it's going to change depending on, on where the shell is. So that shell radius is going to be 4 minus some y value. Okay, so this is 2 pi... Um, We'll talk about our limits in a second. It's going to be 4 minus y. And now we have to think about what our shell height is. Okay, so the shell height is the distance between here and here. Okay, what's this shell height? Now here's here's the issue with this problem. Here's where it gets a little more complicated. Is that here you can see that the top and bottom of this are the equations x equals square root of y and this equation x equals y minus 2. But if you move the shell down here you'll see that this line is no longer the bottom, uh, this line is the bottom. Okay, so we're going to have to split this up into two different integrals. Integrals, um, one where the top and bottom are this equation, x equals square root of y, and the bottom is negative square root of y. And then when you move up above right here to these two equations, um, your top would be, or your right side would be x equals square root of y, and your left side would be uh, x equals y minus 2. Okay, so for the first one, we'll do this bottom one. I can draw another shell here. Okay, top and bottom there. Okay, so the right side of your shell is square root of y, and the left side of your shell is negative square root of y. You're going to subtract, so it's square root of y minus a negative square root of y, dy. Your limits, your y limits, well, you start at the very bottom here, which is at 0, and you move up to this y intersection which we found earlier to be 1, so we're going to say our limits are from 0 to 1. Now your next integral, where you have two different functions having a top and bottom, or right and left, so 2 pi, we'll talk about our limits in a second, 2 pi, it's still going to be 4 minus y because we're still talking about the same circle going around that y equals 4, so 4 minus y, 
um, our top function is still square root of y but now our bottom function is different it's this it's y minus 2 so minus y minus 2 make sure you put that in parentheses because you're subtracting the whole function not just the y okay and that's dy okay what are our y limits well our y limits start here at 1 the y value there and end here at 4 so it's from 1 to 4 okay and you could clean that up a little I'm not going to solve out the whole integral you can either solve this by hand which would take a little bit of time or you could put it in a calculator which would be a little quicker uh, minus a minus is, is also obviously a plus so it's 2 squared to y dy um, plus 2 pi from 1 to 4 of 4 minus y times square root of y minus y plus 2 dy and I'll leave the rest of it to you